नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एज वी नो द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून हैज कवर्ड इंटायर कंट्री ऑन सेकेंड ऑफ जुलाई एंड टुडे आफ्टर द 85 डेज द विड्रॉल ऑफ साउथ वेस्ट मानसून हैज बीन डिक्लेयर्ड ओवर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द साउथ वेस्ट राजस्थान एंड विच कैन बी सीन इन दिस व्हाइट कलर एरिया एंड टूडे ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर द ऑल द विड्रॉल कंडीशन ऑफ द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून द फर्स्ट condition is there has to be a anti cyclonic circulation at the 850 hectopascal levels in the atmospheric levels and there should not be any rainfall over those areas since last 5 days and there has to be uh, dry weather or the very less moisture which can be seen in the satellite picture so all those criteria are fulfilling uh, mainly over the uh, jaisalmer area so over the barmer area jodhpur area and some parts of the bikaner area so today the monsoon soon southwest monsoon has withdrawn from all those areas on 25th of september against the normal date of 17th of september and if you look uh, yesterday observed weather then the yesterday uh, mainly the andaman nicobar islands tamil nadu west bengal sikkim west madhya pradesh and gujarat region which are given in the orange color have received very heavy rainfall however all those areas which are given in the yellow color received the heavy rainfall such as the arachal pradesh assam meghalaya bihar east rajasthan saurashtra and kutch vidarbha marathwada telangana and coastal and pradesh and rural sima yesterday maximum 18 cm rain fall was observed over the sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim area and maximum 15 cm rainfall was reported over the west madhya pradesh and gujarat region and if you look for today's uh, main highlights so today one is the uh, withdrawal of the southwest monsoon from the parts of southwest rajasthan and another highlight is on 29th of september a cyclonic circulation is likely to form over the north and one sea and adjoining east central bay of bengal under the influence of this circulation on 30th around 30th uh, september a low pressure area is likely to form over those uh, regions and this low pressure area very likely to move nearly west north westwards and intensify further and even if you look for the today's chief synoptic features so today a cyclonic circulation lies over the south east uttar pradesh and a trough line runs from this area up to the west assam and another trough which runs from south east uttar pradesh up to the telangana over the south chatisgarh another cyclonic circulation uh, can be seen and a trough is also runs from south chatisgarh up to the south konkan area and over the tamil nadu coast a another circulation can be seen over the northwest india and uh, west and disturbance can be seen as a circulation as a trough over the pakistan area because of this synoptic systems and today on 25th of september uh, mainly the very heavy rainfall activity is likely over the uh, uh, tamil nadu and uh, uh, heavy rainfall activity uh, is likely over the coastal and pradesh rural sima telangana chatisgarh vidarbha uh, north interior karnataka maharashtra and gujarat state at one or two places however these regions will experience light rainfall activity over many parts over the north east india mainly the arachal pradesh assam sikkim and bihar very likely to receive light rainfall activity over many parts and heavy rainfall activity at one or two places and one nicobar islands very likely to receive heavy rainfall on 26 of september mainly the rainfall activity will confined over the maharashtra and gujarat region so light to moderate rainfall over many parts of the maharashtra and gujarat region can be seen on tomorrow and it one or two places heavy rainfall activities also likely over uh, over the region however the peninsular india central india east india and north east india there will not be any significant weather even the jammu kashmir himachal pradesh punjab haryana west rajasthan and the uh, west uttar pradesh very likely to be dry on 26th of september however the andaman and nicobar islands very likely to receive heavy rainfall on 27th of september mainly the coastal areas of the maharashtra and the ghat areas of the madhya maharashtra very likely to receive heavy rainfall activity at one or two places except uh, this area all the uh, remaining area of the country uh, will not receive any significant weather even though the jammu kashmir himachal pradesh punjab haryana west rajasthan east rajasthan and west uttar pradesh very likely to be dry on 27th of september however there will be very heavy rainfall activity over the andaman and nicobar islands and there also will be the thunderstorm lightning and gusty wind with a speed of 30 to 40 kmph similarly on 28th of september 
uh, along with the Maharashtra, uh, rainfall activity will increase over the South Peninsular India, so mainly the co coastal areas of the Maharashtra, Ghat area of the Madh Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, some parts of the Karnataka, Rail Sima, and Telangana and Andhra Pradesh very likely to receive heavy rainfall activity at one or two places, which are given in the yellow color. Moderate and light rainfall activity will be seen over many parts of all those regions, and Andaman Nukovar Islands will receive very heavy rainfall activity on 28th of September also there will not be any significant weather over the east central india east india and the northeast india however most parts of the northwest india very likely to be dry except uttarakhand and east uttar pradesh where light rain is uh, likely on 28th of september similarly on 29th of september major rainfall activity will confine to the over the south peninsular india and adjoining areas of the maharashtra so the all those regions which are given in the yellow color will receive light rainfall over many parts and heavy rainfall activity at one or two places even Andaman and Nicobar Islands continue to receive very heavy rainfall activity on 29th of September also along with the strong wind of speed 30 to 40 kmps. Entire Northeast India, entire East India and the Central India will receive only light rainfall activity one or two places. However, the most parts of the Northwest India such as the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, West Rajasthan and many parts of the Northwest. Uttar Pradesh and uh, many parts of the East Rajasthan very likely to be dry on 29th of September also. For more detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website. You can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and our Twitter page. Thank you.